what you guys got another video here for you I thought I'd make this quick video before I go on holiday so you'll be able to uh, have something to watch but this is going to be the last one for a couple of weeks until I get back so this one is going to be about secure racing uh, data on your drive on Windows 10 and also secure uh, deletion of files in your recycle bin so we're going to go through and take a look at some of the programs here that you can use and also a command that you can use inside PowerShell inside Windows 10. So if you do have folders on your desktop or you do have data in your recycle bin, which we all do, sometimes we take for granted that that data, when it goes to our recycle bin, is not always deleted thoroughly and it can be um, brought back. So let's first take a look at some of the software which we can use. Now I have got a list of software which you uh, can take a look at and there's a big list of them here and we'll go through these afterwards. So the first one I'm going to take a look at is a C Cleaner. Now C Cleaner uh, is a free program you can use which does have uh, very good uh, ways of uh, deleting and securely deleting uh, files and documents and uh, folders and stuff on your computer. But if you just open it up here, when you open it up and run this, it's not going to do a secure deletion of those files. It's just going to do a quick scan of the drive and delete anything that's in these locations here. But if we go into options and settings here and take a look, you can see the secure deletion here, which is a normal file deletion. And this is set to fast. And also you've got the secure file deletion here. The drop down menu is going to give you a simple overwrite one pass, advanced overwrite three passes and complex overwrite seven passes and also very complex overwrite 35 passes. Now what this is going to do is delete that file over and over and uh, by the amount of times here and also write certain code to that uh, data set so completely wipes it and it makes it unrecoverable so you won't be able to recover it if you do this okay now obviously uh, this will uh, put some wear and tear on the drive and also it will shorten the life of the drive by doing this on a constant basis so you, I wouldn't advise you to leave this running all the time like this uh, because it's going to uh, cause a lot of problems in the long run but but if you do have um, something that you want to wipe and you want to say for instance a folder or something like that you can do a secure uh, deletion of that and you can see here we do also have the wipe uh, alternate uh, data streams here and also wipe the clusters here as well so that is uh, that on the uh, C cleaner so I'm going to close that off and uh, we'll go on to another piece of software which you can use here now there's one called a uh, tweak now secure delete and we can take a quick look at this as well so let me just open this up and there's quite a few of them available on the internet and I thought I'd just get a few of these just to show you uh, what they look like so you can see here folders and folders recycle bin this is a nice uh, GUI interface and it's uh, just solely uh, to secure delete stuff on your computer so it's not like CCleaner where it's going to delete a lot of other stuff this is just basically to add a file or a folder that you want to delete so if you do have say something like this uh, folder here so let me just quickly create a folder here and this is why I like this program because it's pretty straightforward and easy to do uh, but if you do uh, have something here you can add a folder and go to your desktop choose the uh, location uh, where the file is and you can see new folder here click on open here and it will now put it into this uh, location and you can choose your options and you can see here we do have 35 passes also using a dot five two two zero dot two two m which is a seven pass and also a free pass as well now this is a great way of deleting one uh, folder which has sensitive data in it if you're going to get rid of a computer and you've been keeping your bank details in a folder which you shouldn't be doing but if you have you can actually uh, delete this folder securely and it will uh, work that way so all you need to do here is just run this you've also got your paging file here and your recycle bins if you want to do that you can do as well and you just click on delete and it will uh, start to delete that from the system and run the amount of overwrites for that folder now there's also other ones up here which I've got which I'm not going to go through all of them we're just going to quickly take a look here securely uh, file shredder and we've also got another one here delete your files and, and drives securely and clean 
Now also D-Ban, which I've not listed up here, which is much more of a, a complete uh, drive wipe, but these are software which you can use without wiping your hard drive. And now a really well known one is Eraser, and Eraser is a very good uh, piece of software for uh, this sort of stuff. So let me just download Eraser here, and it will take you to the SourceForge. So I'm just going to quickly accept that and let the download come here. Now this is a great, uh, this has been around a long time Eraser, and it's a very powerful tool for doing this particular type of uh, job. So we'll just let this come down here. And while that's coming down, I'll just quickly show you another one here. We've got File Shredder, and that's the program here. And we also have Bleach Bit, which is another type of program which will uh, do the job for you as well, which we can take a look at. And this one here, which is called, um, I think it's called Moo. So I'm not going to look at all of these. I'm just going to go to, let's see here. So let's go to this one. And install eraser and there is a racer here so it's just starting to install now if you do need the dotnet framework it will try to bring that down but if you don't need it it will just say close and you won't have to install that now once we've got this on the system we can go ahead just do a typical here and install there we go and we can now run eraser now Eraser, as I said, is a pretty decent bit of kit. It's just been updated as well. And uh, this is the actual software here. You can create an erase schedule and also you've got your settings inside here where you can set it to what you want here. The big vast array of different over, overwrites here which we can use. And uh, we've got some other bits here like add files and add folders as well and also you do have a right click feature on the uh, here on the uh, recycle bin if you wanted to do that and also uh, which is another uh, thing this uh, program does have you can actually explore as well uh, the drive and select stuff on there as well so that's the eraser pretty decent uh, bit of kit uh, bleach bit again is a, another simple uh, program which you can use to do the same sort of jobs here as you can see you just select what you want, prefetch, recycle bin, temporary files, uh, Windows Defender, history, loads of stuff here run, most recently used. Uh, this works in a similar way to uh, CCleaner, as you can see here, but this is really concentrating on the main areas which store uh, data here, which you want to get rid of passwords, as you can see here as well. And when you put that in, it will start to delete all that stuff. So Bleach Bit is another great uh, one. You can see here, shred fol files, folders, uh, free space, and also other bits and pieces inside here. You can set your preferences up for this particular thing as well. Now, again, I just want to give you an heads up here that doing this all the time would really stress the drive out. So don't run this continuously on the whole of the drive constantly. You just want to use it now and again when you've got something that you just want to wipe which you think is sensitive and you don't want other people to know it was there. Now there's also um, a command you can run which is in PowerShell. So if we open up PowerShell here, right click here and just say I wanted to uh, delete anything inside the uh, recycle bin here, you can right click here, go to PowerShell Going to run this as administrator here and uh, once this uh, populates here you can put in this uh, command here okay and you can see here it's pointing to the C drive and the recycle with dollar sign recycle bin here and this will uh, get rid of all the data inside there it will take a long time and you just let this run and I'll show you an example of what this looks like when it completes so as you can see that's now completed and this is exactly what it looks like once it's finished. So that was the command we run there just for the recycle bin. You just change the recycle bin to the path that you want to use and that's pretty much it. It's done a full um, cycle way of writing uh, to that recycle bin so you won't be able to recover data from there. So again just use these types of software sparingly. Don't always use them otherwise you're going to end up uh, messing your drive up eventually because it does do a massive amount of wear and tear to the drive if you constantly do these things. 
Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this one's been useful. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again in a couple of weeks for a video uh, then. Okay, so thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.